what we're doing, we're using pears because we have pears, but right. you could do this with apples too. Oh yeah. You could do an apple rhubarb pie. But let me tell you what, as a kid, I don't remember where I got it, it's probably mom. I remember having a pear pie, and it may have been a pear rhubarb. Now you have strawberry rhubarb oh, yeah. pie, all kinds of wonderful things. But this is an old fashioned thing. All right, fresh rhubarb, mm -hmm. straight from Mac. That's right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you, first of all, give them your old fashioned pie crust. Pie dough. And I made these earlier. This, You know what, I like to use the ones in the store sometimes when I'm lazy, but you, you just can't. It's this not is the same. just too beautiful. It's not the same. And that's with our lard too. I think that's why it's so good. So I usually start, and I made these earlier today and have it already. I have a third cup of our lard. Then I put half a teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt in there. I kind of just always throw it in. And a cup of flour and then about two tablespoons of water. Sometimes I add more flour or water. It's just all purpose flour. Yeah, but you gotta have the lard. That's the secret, is the lard. But it's the best. If you don't wanna use lard, you can use shortening you or can. butter, whatever you wanna use. But let me tell you what, if you can find somebody who has pasture-raised pigs and you can get that inner leaf lard, oh, yeah. that pure white stuff from a pasture-raised right. pig, do a little research on mm -hmm. that. It's really, really kind of good stuff. There's so that's no, the kind yes. of lard that we use. There's we, no pie crust like it. There's nothing in the world like no. it. So what I'm gonna start with though first, and I have a cup of sugar here. Mm -hmm. And these are, you know, we looked at our grandma's recipes. This is kind of interesting. This is two tablespoons of flour. Sometimes people use all flour. And this is two tablespoons of cornstarch. Cornstarch. So let's, that's gonna be our main. That is kind of a secret ingredient for a lot of things. Yeah. And something else that might shock you about this recipe is we really looked up some old timey stuff from our yes. families and you take ginger we're going to use fresh ginger now yes. they probably use ground ginger mm -hmm. remember the cans of ground ginger used right. to have we used a little fresh ginger in here as it's opposed so to ground good. ginger and it gives it just a little bite something different it that does. you can't really place and it's just absolutely wonderful. it made you eat the whole pie I, yes you i did have eat a problem. the whole pie all right so now we're going to take one of these and you stole them i you did still stole a pear out of there. pear out of this that's like four to five pears okay this old-fashioned tool that you got me? The chopper? Yes. Now, we made them big because you like to eat them, but for pie? Mom used that for her chow chow. I love this for everything. Now, this again, you've, you've got the extra added benefit that these are canned pears. They've been cooked, so they're not going to be as tough when you're starting the cooking process. Now, we have our rhubarb, and it takes about a cup and a half of rhubarb, so I kind of measured this out when I made it today, and it took almost both of these. We're just going to cut little pieces. It's like we're putting celery in here. Rhubarb is an old-fashioned thing that folks used to have out. Something else you used to see a lot of farmers, they had the horseradish. I remember Bobby Joe had always had horseradish out, and it yeah. made the best, the best fresh horseradish in the world. All right, we need about a cup and a half of these. I think I'm getting close. These, this rhubarb is pretty big. Mm -hmm. All right, now our secret. Like we said, we're going to get some of this ginger. And I'm telling you, this is, this is really, you might even try some ginger in your apple pie. So I'm just going to go ahead. And you don't need a lot. No. And it gives it a great taste. And ground ginger, too. It will work just fine in this. Also, this is an organic lemon. Zest. So I'm going to put some of the zest, because we're going to also use about half of this lemon for the juice. So we're going to zest it up. Mm -hmm. I am preheated to 375, because we're going to let this cook 50 to 55 minutes. We're going gotcha. to see when it looks beautiful, what you think looks good. And this is half. I'm going to put half of a lemon. One more secret ingredient, and this was your good idea because we're in Kentucky. It's a little bourbon. That's right. A little bourbon. Got about a tablespoon. A little bit of salt. I forgot about my salt. Gotcha. About a quarter of a teaspoon of that. All right. And we're going to save our cinnamon egg for something else. All right, here's our basic. Do you have a spoon over there I can use? I do. Of yours? It'll be a dollar. All right. So now we're going to just add this mixture here. Now say what was in your mixture again. Okay, we have, I had a cup of sugar, mm -hmm. I had two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of cornstarch. That's your thickening agent. Yes, then I had, the cornstarch is wonderful, quarter mm -hmm. teaspoon of that wonderful salt. We put some lemon zest, we put some ginger, we put some lemon juice, and some bourbon. Now we're gonna take this amazing, beautiful homemade crust that I think is amazing, I love it. It is the best in the world. And we're gonna add our filling. What is this you're making? This is a, Pear rhubarb. <laughs> this is it a P-I-E? How do you say it? Pie. No, pie. that's how I say it. You pie. Say pie. 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 Very proper. Now, cinnamon. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Now I've made a pie crust top earlier too because gotta have homemade if you hold underneath, hold the bottom of that. Hold the bottom? Me. Yeah, because I'm gonna pull it off of here. I don't wanna mess it up. It should be pretty good. Look at that. <laughs> okay, something grandma always told me. Uh -huh. Got a blue egg too, because blue is my favorite. That's one there. of our girls. I love them. I just want the white. 
laying our little blue eggs. So this has been an exercise in uh, in the fall season. Getting ready. Pies and jars full of wonderful canned things in the background. All right, I always like egg white kind of makes it brown up. Mm -hmm. Some people put foil on the edges. I I'm gonna just let it crisp up, I like it. And can you get one more favor? Can you get the sugar bowl out? Yeah. That's our finishing touch. Is that beautiful? Say when. Whenever you think, that's, be that's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> that's it. We're gonna let it cook for 50 to 55 minutes. Let me we'll open the oven for you? Yes, thank All you. Right. Mrs. Farmer. Yes. Might you do the honors? You ready for a piece I'm of pie? I'm so excited. I know. They ran out of the pass tape, didn't you? I did. Now that's that good crispy, crunchy crust. Oh, it's just old fashioned. Yes, it is. I'm gonna try to lift it up here. <laughs> Are you gonna go first? I do. Actually, I snuck a little piece after we cut it. I've already you worked harder than I did on mm. this. Mm. And that, look at that crust, nice and crunchy. Oh, wow. That ginger and lemon adds so much to that. I need one more bite. Mm. This, you know, this has got something old fashioned about it. This is something our grandparents would fix. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. 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 <laughs> Delicious.